So I think I know. I, I think I know the show. Yeah. Yeah, it's where uh, Cartman is up on the up on like the fortified wall, and he's like, "We have your woman, Atlanta." N- no. Is it not? Is no, that the, it's, the, it's the Scottish one. Oh. Okay. Hi, welcome back to Worth the Dream. I'm Grim. And I am Red. I did not know Grim was starting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured you got the slogan, so I would start. <laughs> this is your home for whiskey reviews. Mythical? Mythical opinions and outlandish humor. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, all right. So, the scotch that we're looking at today, we've kind of struggled a little bit to gather information for. Because it's still fairly new. Very new. Actually, before we go too far... Um, we have, I just two things that I want to address. Two One, things. first thing. Look, if you're not here for the banter and you just want to get straight to the whiskey, check out the timeline because we put chapters in every single episode, so you guys can hop around as you see fit. Get to that meat and potatoes and skip all the gravy. Yeah, gravy and other flavor and accoutrement. If you just want plain. And you went French again. That was good. <laughs> I do have a little <laughs> French heritage. <laughs> anyway, uh, second, we started up a Discord. We did. Uh, it's really, we're just trying to build a community for everyone that watches and everyone that we interact with. Yeah. And we're going to be doing a podcast, and that's going to be a way we can actually introduce people and bring them in to talk and drink with us for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So, uh, if you want further updates like that, like and subscribe. Yeah. Good call. I'm going to put that in the beginning this time. Uh, also, if you happen to be another, like one of our YouTube buddies uh, who we've been interacting with, we have a place in our Discord for you to self promote. So please join us. The link is in the description. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of fun. So far, I mean, it's just us right now. Hopefully somebody that's joined can comment down below and be like, yeah, this is fun. (laughs) Grim posts memes like every day. I'll just make another account. It's called Not Grim. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so today we're looking at a Highland Scotch. Sassanac. Mm. Uh, did you look that up? Did I? I watched an interview with Sam Hewen and and he says Sassanac. I was pretty sure he said Sassanac. I don't like that at all. What? How because would you say? It? I've been I've been pronouncing it uh, Sassanac. Oh. Or or Sassanac. I don't really like that much, but Sassanac I think is. I've been putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllabic. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is a blended Highland. Yes. It was released in March of 2020, and uh, you know we keep making these Outlander jokes. Yes. So this was released by Sam Hewen of. Outlander fame, which is that, that big star show that I've never watched. I actually have not seen an episode. Um, I watched a couple of, like, clips, like, getting ready for, you know. Okay. Because I, I Googled this, and it came up as, um, came up with a whole bunch of Outlander clips. So I watched it. He had a mohawk, it was cool. <laughs> episode, episode three of season one. Well, no, it's... it's, it's <laughs> Anyway, so this anyway, one... Anyway, Sam Hewen's got... Uh, he's got a little ginger tinge to him in that show. All right. I'm, I might start watching it now just for that. <laughs> so this was a little bit of a surprise uh, because my mother sent this to me without telling me. Yeah. Uh, but also, uh, my sister ordered a bottle for her husband. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we can... We're, we're going to portal him later. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we'll bring him up in a video chat. We'll have him for the first class once we get through all this stuff that you guys skip anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so... First release in March 2020. Yes. Five states. Five states. California, Texas, Florida, New York, and New Jersey. Yes. Uh, I, I kind of feel like if it gets if anything goes to New York, it's going to go to New Jersey, too. I mean, at this point. Yeah. I, I don't know. I haven't lived in, over there. <laughs> I got... <laughs> anyway, so that first batch was limited to 10,000 bottles. Um, the second release sold out within 48 hours. Yeah, and, and that, that second release was... It had to have been the one that your sister and your mom got. Probably. Um, Because that was released in December, I want to say. Yes. 2020. Yep. Um, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm waiting for you to just finish the thought that I was getting to. Yeah, no, it sold out really quickly. In? But in in 48 hours. In 37 states. In 37 states. Yep. Which is 32 more than the first release. Yes. (laughs) Sorry. I I messed up your your lines there. (laughs) Do you want to take the fun fact? Because... Oh, man. Well, I mean, I can't... No. You All right, it. so fun fact. <laughs> Sam Hewen was approached uh, many times. I was watching some interviews uh, he had given uh, Cigar and Spirits magazine, Forbes, uh, and he had talked about how he was approached by a wine company and said, hey, do you just want a white label of wine? Just put your name on it. We'll, we'll send it out there. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, that's not really what I want to do. 
Um, and then he had the opportunity to go do scotch, and scotch is very, you know, when he talks about it, I'm sorry, I'm in your, I'm in your personal bubble again. <laughs> when he talks about scotch in these interviews, you, you can tell it's really personal to him. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe I'm falling for some of the advertisement <laughs> on it. Um, but as he was talking about it, I was getting uh, excited about it. So it took him 18 months uh, to get the blend right. And then he, like, last minute was like, you know what, this shouldn't be 40%. This should, really should be 46% alcohol by okay way. yeah uh, because it tastes better and that's a better and i think we've the scotches we've liked the most i think are at that 46 percent or higher than 40 percent. i think so yeah i think now i'm just we'll go through our own backlog now. later yeah um but as a personal note sassanac sassanac <laughs> b-roll so five minutes browsing youtube to find the right pronunciation sassanac i don't like it <laughs> Anyway, that was that was like direct from the show, though. It was, yeah. So, as a personal note, why is it a personal note? Never mind. Because he acted in Outlander. Oh no, that's cool. That's good. It's his personal note, not my personal yeah, it's not note. Your personal <laughs> note. I got very confused <laughs> with the notes we're talking about. Sassanac is Gaelic for Outlander, like the show. Mm-hmm. More specifically, uh, a foreigner, uh, and it was a derogatory term for an Englishman yep. or somebody from England. Yep. Um, and it was thought to have been derived from Saxon invaders. So Sassanac, Saxon. Yeah, okay. You know, socks. I'm not wearing Getting into the etymology here. Yeah. Every, we do that every once in a while. Is it etymology or is that the study of books? No, no entomology. Entomology. Entomens? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so fun fact. <laughs> Whoa, you got a fun fact. I do have a fun fact. So the unicorn is actually the official animal of Scotland. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so the reason being is because the unicorn is the natural enemy of the lion, which is a common symbol for... Why am I talking to you, not the camera? It's a common <laughs> symbol for English nobility. <laughs> it was your... When you were like, what? And I'm like, oh, I should be talking to you now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty metal. It is pretty metal. Uh, I mean, um, we're going to name... We're going to adopt an animal as our logo. You know, as our country animal because it's what kills your animal yep yeah yep yeah the blend is unknown yes um but uh sam in in an interview uh did kind of let slip that there is a portion of a 19 year aged organic grain yes um which is pretty cool it i'm pretty sure he said 19 grain he's got a scottish accent i may have I wrote down 19 because that's what I heard. Okay, fair enough. I can't I can't find that anywhere but that one interview he did. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, also, it's <laughs> I feel like it's funny to note here that this <laughs> is another bottle that took home double gold double at the San gold. Francisco World Spirits Competition. Um, that's, I mean, maybe we just keep gravitating towards things that get double gold, but I think we get double gold a lot on this show. It's a meme at this point. It is. So, uh, we're going to get to pouring before you open that up. Uh... Let's get Steve on the line. Let's get Steve on the line. Sorry, I was looking at this. That shows a lot of the bar back here. It does. <laughs> it also has face tracking, so it'll follow us as we move. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey, how are you? Brother. What up? How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. I think that volume, uh, all right. We're going to turn you down a little bit. Um, you, it's a common event in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is my brother-in-law Steve. He's got a bottle of this Sassanac. 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 We we've been struggling with the pronunciation. We had to look it up. <laughs> I can understand that. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to be joining us for uh, our first glass here. We uh, so we're we're going to lean on you entirely for the tasting notes. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Heads up. We didn't do any research, so. Well, you have the it's fair. I haven't either. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you have the jigger. <laughs> this is the first time he's opening it, too? Yeah, this is the first time you're opening it, right? This is the first time I'm opening it. Sweet. Nice. Ooh. His oh. was better. <laughs> that was better. How was his better? <laughs> oh, I thought you had the fancy glasses with the ice. Oh, crap. I do. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got he's got those those squared glasses with the, the ice wedge. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's neat. Well, I mean, technically it's straight up. Straight up. (laughs) It's on the rocks. On the rock? My first taste will be neat. There you go. 
So, uh, I, I like the way this pours. It still makes a mess. When, when I guess when you're wielding it. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm wielding it. <laughs> My table's dry. Mine is not. Ours is not. It's because I'm pouring. I gotta tell you, so while pouring here, Steve, I don't know if you're getting the same thing, but there's a, a pretty hefty, like, bready smell. Yeah. Granted, we also poured four times as much as you did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a real light. That smells delicious. Looking. Yeah. But. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's real nice. That's really citrusy. Yeah. This is cool. I like this. I like this too. <laughs> I mean, I wish that I wish I had a better way of showing video, like but interacting. Well, we yeah. can figure it out next time. We were gonna do the phone thing, but then the audio quality was just way, way down. How's the weather up there? Oh, it's beautiful. It's 18 degrees. Nice. Uh, I think so it was uh, 65 here today. Yeah. Yeah. 65. We got. We almost got up into the 70s today. Yeah. That's awesome. I, I'll we'll take half that if it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. We actually might get snow on Monday. What? We'll so, see. Yeah, we got a surprise snowstorm this morning. We got a surprise. Uh, <laughs> wait, an inch and a half, two inches. No one, no one predicted it. Is it really a surprise though? I mean, if it's <laughs> if it's an inch and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so you you notice citrus yeah uh and i get that um and then a little bit of oak kind of like that and then like you said almost that like uh malty breadiness yep it's very it's to me it's very very bready with like a lot of and sweet citrus yeah so not like you know we we get a lot of like orange zest like the bitters a lot but uh this is like this is sweet this is like the Fleshy part of the orange. I don't like the word fleshy. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we not say that again? All right, fair enough. It's the moist part of the orange. Oh. Oh. That's, that's better. That's, <laughs> it does smell like a very fleshy, moist orange. So, no pressure. Do you get, what do you get? I get everything that you're smelling as you describe it, but I can't put the words to it. That's, okay, that's, uh, that's my level of understanding. <laughs> we're uh, still, I mean, we're still, new, we're still new to it, but obviously we've had a little bit of practice doing this. To me, I'm getting it. It smells. I know this is a word that you describe taste, but it smells smooth. It smells like balance. It smells like it has a mix of things. That, yeah, uh, it's not harsh. Yep. Uh, so. Yeah. I mean, some a lot of like you know some of the cheaper whiskeys that we tried, it can be really really harsh in the glass and like it kind of you know it singes the nose a little bit. None of that. It's yeah. all actually just really no. yeah. As I like smooth. as I like to say, it's like Grim's got some uh, ball bearings and he's just smelling some ball bearings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's do this. Slanja, Slanja. Wow, we we missed. Are you gonna tap the glass? Mm. That's real nice. Wow. Yeah, that citrus on the nose is there on the taste. Yep. Um, and as I walk through it, there's some honey. There's um, a lot of honey. Yeah. There's a nutty. There's a there's a slight nuttiness that I'm getting. Um, like a nondescript, just. You know what? It actually the first reminder I got was that sweet tobacco. You we I tried the other day or not the other day but yeah the other month. Sometime last year. Sometime. Sometime in the last 12 months. <laughs> but, you know, it was like almost that, um, it's not peach, but you have like a, a tobacco in there that's got a fruit component to it. Yeah. That's kind of what I got on the... So, got like woodsy almost. Yeah. Yeah, and that might be what it is. It might be that oak mm -hmm. uh, coming through with those very kind of fruit notes. There's a very, very tiny little hint of smoke. But it's not a lot. Mm. I gotta yeah, tell you, right so, towards the end. Right. Yeah. Yep. Right towards yep. the end. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, kind of as you breathe out a little bit. Uh, yeah. No, I agree. Maybe that's where I'm getting that. It reminds me of a sweet pipe smoke. Katie. Katie found this first, right? She did. Yeah. So she. It, uh, she did good. All because I bought her a book. <laughs> <laughs> what book was that? <laughs> it's the it was the Outlander series. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. So, yeah. That oh, makes okay. Sense. Nice. Uh, it's, uh, Mm. Which we've learned today is not South Park related. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you remember that. Eric, Eric Cartman, where he's it's some episode where he's like, "We have your woman, Outlanda," <laughs> up from the top of the wall. Yes. <laughs> not, not what he's referring to. No, man. I think we're at, at this point. Since you've got two glasses, we're just gonna keep you for the second glass. <laughs> that's that's perfectly fine. Yeah, I can I can no. This uh, I'm, I don't drink a ton of whiskey. I drink a lot more bourbon than scotch, and th this is making me uh, very much more interested in scotch. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you should try Laphroaig next. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, my God. I mean, let us send you a sample first. I mean, you're a first responder. You know the smell of antiseptic and Band-Aids. <laughs> and fire. <laughs> yeah. All at once? That's, that's yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When you get a minute, go back and watch our Laphroaig episode. You can just watch the first two minutes, and you'll basically get the okay. whole thing. <laughs> it is it is a good scotch though. I will be staying away from tequila for a long time. The, uh, speaking of being first responder, they got us some hand sanitizer that smells like the worst tequila yep. you've ever drank in your life. Yep. Uh, it uh, and yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> it's kind of it's tough to keep my thoughts organized. No, you're doing good, this. You're good. Especially when we introduce yeah. new elements. Keep me on my toes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I followed you. If that makes you feel any better, <laughs> but I also have trouble ordering my thoughts. Mostly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's but, just there's like a really pleasing earthiness or a nuttiness. Yeah, that's not. I mean, because like this is another Highland. Dalmore was the first Highland that we yeah. did, and that was just it was it was just sulfur and like oh. wet tobacco. Like, <laughs> like you know the tobacco notes that we're getting now are nice, but like yeah, they're it's light. It's not it's not overpowering. Yeah. It's it's a it's a nice contrast to the the citrus. By the way, can I tell you something about your about your set? Uh, it took me three episodes before I realized the lights behind you aren't lights. They're, 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 I was like, wow, that's really cool. They did all that for a set. That's really cool. <laughs> I got confused too because we do have a light up there. We have one light. You should be more specific. You say, you say that. That was a weird cut. Oh, that was a weird cut. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm gonna. Start. That was a weird cut. It was a weird cut. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we literally just sat back here and kind of shot the shit a little bit. We did, but I mean, I had, we had to take a minute to catch up. I, legit, Ten minutes. I haven't seen this man in two years. Yeah, no, I I haven't seen this man before in my life. So he was here for my wedding. Okay, I've seen you once before because I was a groomsman. I'm I sure I saw you. The oh, so there you me. go. Was... Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh man, so. Yeah, it's been about 10 minutes, maybe. I don't know. I, I lose track of time. 10-ish minutes. Uh, you've started your second glass, which you have on the rocks. I have. Yeah, the fancy glasses. It's Boston people are impatient. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> See, I get that breadiness again. and it, so I think it's, it's got to be the malt coming through. So I, I will mention that in the first glass, I kind of breathed all that breadiness in, and then it kind of faded out for me. Yeah. And now that we've put it down and come back to it, it's back again. Uh, I get a little bit of that breadiness, um, but it's right back to that citrus, that oak, um, and then like that maltiness coming through. Yeah. So the, the oak is there, but it's real low for me. Yeah. But that, it's present. I, I mostly yeah. get that citrus and then kind of that, that little bit of that oak, um, and then that kind of vanilla sweetness in there. What do you get, Steve? Not, not much different than the first place. I get the, uh... The ice seems to have brought out more of the wood and the smoke in the end, like, as you breathe. As they breathe out at the end, okay, kind of like congested almost. So that we uh, we don't call it. It's not like us, but like no, 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 no. So that's patent no pending. Patent pending. <laughs> I'm talking about the finish. I was going to say oh. that that's so that what you're describing is the finish. And the finish, yes. Yep. So what I guess what I'm getting from your experience is it kind of like lengthens that finish a little bit, kind of embodies it yeah, a little it more. Definitely brings it out more. So you can definitely embolden this to me. So. Okay. Well, I'm ready to get to it. Yeah. Because I'm I wanna I wanna see that. Let's launch it. To you, buddy. Gotcha. Mm. It does. It reminds me of a less peaty oven. On the second glass. And the oven wasn't really wasn't really that peaty mm -hmm. or smoky. It was just no. This this would be like if oven had ninety nine point nine percent of its peat removed. It's tingly, like on the sides of your mouth. I'm getting that. I'm getting. I'm, I'm not getting tingles. No. I'm kind of jealous of your mouth right now. 
<laughs> Mostly because of the fleshy part. Mostly because of the fleshy part. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I'm gonna do the same. Yeah. I mean, we my my balls don't fit in these glasses. Oh. If you recall. The ice balls. The ice balls. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got roughly three dropped. I'm ne I'm never gonna let that joke slide. <laughs> or I'm never gonna let it go. Ooh, I like what that does to the nose. It kind of subdues it a little bit. Yeah, but I think, all right, so we've talked about the equalizer. Yeah. That kind of balances it a little more because the citrus is no longer like red. Cranked up. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like I could stick, a lot of times, um, <laughs> it was a weird <laughs> sentence to start the way I started, but a lot of times. Um, <laughs> Do you have any idea how often I have to cut around <laughs> the weird ways that you start sentences? <laughs> It's probably a lot. It's probably what takes so long to it so long is. to get things done. Um, and I own that completely. Yeah. So a lot of times when you're um, snifferizing a whiskey, you get you, you talked about it earlier. You get that alcohol burn, and you're like, oh god, my that kind of burnt my nose a little yep, bit. Yep, yep. I feel like I can stick my no my entire nose into this glass, and not get yeah, no any hint of that burn. I kind of feel like I feel like adding water. And I don't know, I mean, because you've got the big, the big ice wedge in there. We only added like a couple drops yeah. here. So we're going to be experiencing things a little differently. But I feel like adding the water. Yeah, it's but cooler too, so it's chilled down. Which yeah. I mean, and the temperature's down. lower also. Yeah. Those are pretty cool glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have been recording because I just got the... <laughs> anyway. Um, I feel like, so introducing the water, I kind of feel, it kind of just... It equalizes. It kind of just flattens flattens the. I think it almost. You're right. It does equalize it, but that, that the second sip I had, that vanilla was a little bit more forward. Yeah, I'll so give that you that. So vanilla sweetness kind of came forward a little bit more. So I think if you like a more sweeter scotch or a more sweeter whiskey, adding a couple drops of water might be a good idea. Yeah. For me, I think that trade off is worth it. That vanilla sweetness coming more forward with water. Okay. I think that trade off for tamping down the other flavors is. It's worth it. All right. So it seems like we're rolling right into impressions here. Sorry. No, 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 no. That's. I think we're right on track. Um, uh, it's nothing. I'm nothing if not on track. We got a thruple of dudes here. Thruple of dudes. So oh, I get. We got. Thruple. Yeah. It's trike night. It's trike night. You need that third wheel. <laughs> you need that third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm I, making Katie up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean. We've got room for one takeaway each. So personally, I say I, I prefer it just neat. No water. Yeah. Probably I didn't try it on the rocks, but I kind of just like I just like things neat. Yeah. So I prefer it a um, couple of drops of water, a couple of three a thruple. drops of water. Uh, for me, it just brings up that sweetness forward a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of at the cost, though, like you noticed, like you noted of tamping down the other flavors in the in the glass. What What do you got for a takeaway, Steve? My takeaway is absolutely try it. Uh, Neat, try it with a little bit of water. Try it. Try it. When you try, try something for the first time, try it every way you can. All right. That is damn good so, advice. So now, did you, did you prefer it neat or on the rocks? I actually, uh, I found benefit in both, to be honest. I, I do agree it was less complex uh, on the rocks. Okay. Uh, a lot less. Obviously, it, it kind of, you know, it gets, it gets chilled down. Did we touch on MSRP? Did you want to touch on MSRP? I ha honestly have no idea how much it cost. MSRP no, no, no. is. This was a gift for Steve, so hey, earmuffs. 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 MSRP is ninety nine. Okay. U S American dollars. Yeah. Well, I assumed. I didn't, so, know, I didn't think we were talking about saying, rubles today. Not saying you can't get it for cheaper, <laughs> but that was the suggested retail price. Yeah. But having said that, it's been sold out within very quickly of it hitting the market. Yeah. Every time, it actually hasn't even released in England yet. Or it just released in England in December. Yeah, yep. I was going to say, so, second release did actually launch in the yeah. UK. Uh, also, you have an announcement. Do I have an announcement? Yeah. Oh! Mm. Can we cut that? Because that was Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> Appreciate all your support. Appreciate everything. I feel like every time you've donated something to the show or uh, something of that matter, I have failed to come, you know, right up front and said thank you a lot of the thank yous end up in the middle somewhere so happy birthday i hope you enjoy it drink some of that midwinter night's dram and um yeah happy birthday
Love you. Happy birthday, Mama Red. Anyway, so thank you for the reminder. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, so you've seen that you've seen at least a couple episodes. You know how we do. You know how we yes. do. All right. You know how we do. Yeah, you know how we do. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna come in real close. I'm gonna have you give us our banner here. Wait, am I doing the sound? Okay. Yeah, you're gonna do the you sound. Have to, you have to give me a little help with that. All right, so all you gotta do is just right across the bottom of your, uh, anywhere across the screen that you want. A little higher. <laughs> I can't, couldn't see your hands. Perfect. <laughs> that was the mating call of the Northern Scotland Scottish unicorn. Was that not recording? Oh my god. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Yeah. Our spiel. Yeah. I feel like I've spent most. Are we gonna Are we gonna split it like impression, impression, impression? I think so. Although Steve and I kind of echoed a lot of the same things. I should also. For the sake of brevity, echo with brim. <laughs> Just Steve says go with Prim. <laughs> You're outnumbered, buddy. <laughs> anyway, all right, so uh, let's send us off here. If you like what you've seen here, please like and subscribe. I always, I want to say smash that like button, but we're really... Smash that like button. We're not that Hit hip. Hit that button like your mama taught you right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Join our Discord now. The link is in the description. Uh, it'd probably be the easiest way to keep in touch with us. Yes, interact. Yeah. I mean, we're pretty responsive everywhere. Yeah, but at least in Discord, people know who they're talking to. Oh, that's true. Because we have different handles. Yeah. And not just worth it around. Yep. <laughs> no matter how you like your whiskey. <laughs> that's the right way. <laughs>